Today on Dylan Talks Home, we're gonna talk about the difference between all these Bigsby's. If you follow this channel, you know I'm a huge fan of the Bigsby vibrato. You put it on the guitar and you go like this, and it makes the guitar sound different by stretching and shrinking the strings. That's what a vibrato does. It changes the length of the string, more or less, and uh, makes the guitar have that great sound. I love them, they're great, but there can be confusing when you are shopping for one to fit to your guitar. So today, we're gonna break down all the numbers, three, five, seven, 11, like whatever all those numbers mean. And then we're also gonna talk about the difference between the import ones and the American ones, because a lot of people wanna know that as well. So let's start off with the very first one. The Bigsby B3 is seven and five eighths inches long. It's meant for like a thin arch top guitar, such as a Gibson 335. Notice that it's very short and it does not have an idler roller. It's just the one roller. And we're gonna get into why that's, why we can talk about that here in just a minute. The B5 is the next one. It has an idler roller. And what it actually does is it changes the break angle of the string. So it'll actually make it steeper, go more steeply up to the saddles. So that's why you have that B5. But the B5 is made for flat top guitars like a Telecaster. This is the one you see most of the time on a Telecaster. The Bigsby B6 is pretty much the same thing as a B3. So for like 335s and stuff but it's longer, it's nine and a quarter inches long, so it's longer. Why would you choose a longer one? Because you can change the break angle of the strings with the length of it. Now the B7 is interesting, it's eight and three quarter inches long, and it's still for that like 335 style guitar, but here's where we introduce uh, the idler roller, like a B5, uh, on the thin bodied acoustic style, like semi hollow guitar, like a 335. So now we have that Eiler roller, we can introduce more break angle to it. You notice on some of the early, other pictures that people had fitted like a bar to keep the strings down lower to the guitar after it goes over the saddles. That break angle is important. It can change the sound of the guitar and it can also make the tuning stability kind of funky. Personally, I don't like to use that bar because it adds a friction point that messes with your tuning a little bit. So if you want a good stable system for something like a 335, then the B7 is a good alternative because it kind of crosses a B5 and a B3 together and it gives you uh, that sweet setup with that nice break angle. The B11 and the B12 are pretty much like the three and the seven but they have like a cutout and they look a little different and the angles are a little bit different and it's a really cool looking Bigsby. You don't see these very often. In fact, it took, it was kind of hard to even find pictures for this video. You just don't see a, a B11 and a B12 very often. So the B11 is like the B3 with no idler roller. The B12 is just like a B7 with that kind of B5-ish idler roller in it. You can see why it could get a little confusing to pick these. The three is short, the six is a little bit longer, the seven has an idler roller, and they all go on arch top guitars. The five goes on a flat top guitar like a Telecaster. We've got one more, which is the B16. You guys, if you follow my channel, know that this is my favorite one. This guitar right here is one that I built with a B16 on it. I built tons of these, I love them. Uh, it completely changes how a big B works but you have to put them on tellies because of the length and how it all works with the guitar. So this is B16, telly only. Up to this point, you notice that we've not talked about like the B30, the B50, the B70, the B500. The reason is, is because all of the ones that we've talked about up to this point with no zero on the end are all American made sand cast pieces of aluminum with proper bearings and all the rollers and everything. So a lot of people ask all the time, this is all over the internet, what's the difference between a B5 and a B50? Because you pay a lot more, well, a fair amount more for a B5 than you do for a B50. And when I look at them, to put that one on my Telecaster, it looks relatively similar. There are some pretty significant differences. One is licensed ones, so the 30, 50, 70, like all those, are actually uh, die cast aluminum 
and the old one, old way of doing it uh, for the American made ones was sand cast. So they have a little different look and a different feel and different weight and everything to them. More importantly than that though, is when you look at an American made Bigsby, so the three, five, six, seven, 11, 12, and 16, they all have like proper shafts and bearings and everything in them. When you look at the imported ones, you can see the little plastic all along the edge of those rollers. That's because that's like a plastic sleeve that goes in there with a piece of metal around it. And so there's more friction, there's more play in the parts. They don't work quite as well. Will it get by in a, get you by in a pinch? And if you have a guitar that it's got one, will it work? Absolutely, it'll do the thing that Bigsby's do, but it will have a little more slop in it, let's say. So if you're shopping for one, while the American one is a little bit more expensive, if you're trying to build your guitar that you're keeping for a long time, I would definitely recommend spending the extra money for the good one. We'll put a link uh, to a few of these in the description of this video below, the ones that we actually recommend. I'll show you what we're talking about. Um, and then so a couple other budget options as well uh, because the B50, it does work and 60 and 30 and you know all the ones with a zero on them, they do work, but I would definitely recommend getting the American one. Hopefully this clears some of this up for you. We'll put some links to some of these in the description below. Uh, if you use those links, that helps my channel out just a little bit and it doesn't cost you anything extra. So I really appreciate it when you do. Uh, i tell you what, before we get done with this video, Let's go over comments from the last couple videos because we actually haven't done that and we've had some pretty funny ones and some good comments over the last week or so. So let's go over some of those. All right, let's look at some of these comments over the last couple weeks. Uh, we had two really popular videos. There was lots of comments. I really appreciate everybody that participated on them. And actually for some of these subjects, everything was pretty civil too. I thought it was gonna get a little more controversial than that, but it ended up not. Uh, so speaking of one of those videos on our video on capacitors, paper and oil versus orange drop and all the other kinds, uh, Harold Ingalls says, Dylan, you are cruel. How can you frustrate the religious expensive caps believers with the enlightenment of real physics? That will be seen by many people as hearsay. Probably the earth is flat, isn't it? I thought that was pretty funny. Uh, thank you, Harold, for that. Uh, let's see. Michael Moriarty says, good information. The background music could go. It's distracting and unnecessary. People will give you more credence if you lose the baseball cap and t-shirt. Uh, my reply to him was, he must be new around here because everybody knows. A, I like music, so I use music. And B, um, I don't dress up for these videos. And very rarely do I make a video without a hat on. In fact, you remember I made one a couple weeks ago and everybody was like, you shocked us by not wearing a hat. I'm always gonna wear a hat pretty much, pretty much thinking so. Uh, Nate Larson says, you rule. Thanks. I just saw that and I was like, cool, that's cool, thanks. Um, and let's see, <laughs> on our video about guitars um, and the cost of how, how expensive it is to build this stuff, right? Uh, BC Rich 581 has a great suggestion. He says, after watching this, I'm thinking that Dylan needs to raise the price on his entry level model. Mm. I agree. I probably won't for a while, but I agree. Uh, it is a lot of work and it's tough to keep these things at this price point. So, uh, there's just a few of the comments from the last couple videos. I think they're hilarious. Uh, I love it. Thank you so much for commenting, everybody that does, and liking. Hit the like button on these videos and share them. I would really appreciate that. Um, I really appreciate everybody lately. The, the, the channel is growing, and I can tell that people are sharing these videos and watching them, and it, it's really awesome. So I really appreciate it a lot. Um, and if there's videos you want to see and stuff, let me know, and we'll try to we'll try to make them if, if we can. You know, We've got a pretty good schedule coming up of stuff, but... Uh, I'll try to fit some stuff in there, and even if I don't do a whole video on it, I'll try to mention some things. You know, if you 
if you request it, uh, we'll try to work it in, you know, to one of our other videos too, if you have a question about something. Because we're doing some build videos. You know, these cheap guitar video builds have been great because it's been giving a lot of people a lot of ideas. And we've got a few more of those. We've got some custom builds coming up um, for customers that we're gonna do as well. And then I'm building another guitar for myself. So we've got a lot of stuff coming. So if you have questions, we can work the answers to those questions into those other videos, even if they don't get their whole video themselves. So let me know if you like these build videos, if you like some of this other different stuff that we're doing, uh, please let me know. The other thing that I wanna do some more of is helping people make music on the internet. I think that's really, really, really important. And if you need help making better YouTube videos, uh, making better guitar demo videos, um, sharing your playing with the world, please let me know in the comments too, because that's another thing uh, that I'd like to focus on a little bit and make a, you know, kind of a playlist on the channel just for that and build that up as well. So let me know what you think of that uh, in the comments to this video. And uh, of course, subscribe and like and bell and all that stuff. You know all the things to do. But thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you next time.